Hey, Anissa Coy here with Firehouse Education and this week's Ask Anissa video column. This week I'm coming to you live from beautiful Bayview, Idaho. I'm actually sitting on, you can see behind me here, Lake Ponderite, which is quite gorgeous. So anyway, this week our question actually comes from John and John is back in Alabama and he had a really great question. It was about documents that had been uh, involved in a fire. And this was for like a property management type company. So there was all kinds of, you know, important paperwork that has really bad odor, very little soot or actual, you know, debris from the fire on them, but really, really bad odor. They were inside of a file cabinet. So that was a good thing. So he asked me how best I would process them. And what I want to share with you is the answer that I gave him, you know, and, and I want to, preempt this with there are several ways that you can handle these documents but here's what I have found to be the best to begin with taking the boxes obviously out of the file cabinet um, they were transported in bankers type boxes you know real good sturdy boxes they had to be transported by you know like a supervisor or a manager I actually think John's gonna do this himself because of the HIPAA laws in their state and all the Privacy Act stuff so transporting them back to his place what I recommend doing is using a combination of hydroxyl or ozone if that's what you have as well as HEPA vacuuming now when I say HEPA vacuum I don't mean take every sheet of paper and gently HEPA vacuum um, these papers are in file folders so what I recommended was to pull out each file folder and do a quick swipe with HEPA around each corner front and then back of the file folder and then lay that on like a wire or a mesh type of rack in his deodorization room. Now I believe he's using hydroxyl, you can use ozone for this as well. But what's important is that you lay each of these file folders out so that the air, hydroxyl or ozone can be touching all the surfaces and get around them, okay? Leaving them in a box um, could work, but you're taking a chance there because the ozone and the hydroxyl is not gonna be able to get in between each of the file folders. Now, that being said, these file folders were sitting in a file cabinet that were tight together potentially and sitting upright also, so we may not be dealing with a lot of issue with the odor down in between. However, these were, have been sitting in this condition for two weeks. Paper and cardboard is uber absorbent for odor. So at this point, I'm pulling at all stops and I would be very aggressive. So I would separate each of the files, do the HEPA vacuuming as I said, and then either ozone or hydroxyl, putting them in either wire racks, shelving uh, type situation or mesh so that the air can circulate and hydroxyl or ozone can get onto all the different surfaces and don't stack them on top of each other either. So this is obviously gonna take quite a bit of space. He's dealing with about 44 boxes at this point. So quite a bit, it's a pretty good sized job. Um, so what I would have you do then is running, depending on if you're doing, if you're doing hydroxyl, you're gonna be running for a minimum of 24 hours each time you fill up that room. I believe that the room that we're looking at is about 10 by 20. It could take longer depending on the odor. For ozone, you'd be looking at probably 48 hours on ozone. It takes a little bit longer. So anyway, that is how I would handle it. You could also obviously, instead of the HEPA vacuum, you could do chem sponge on the outside of the file folders. You know, you could get super aggressive and also chem sponge and or HEPA vacuum each of the pages, but you know, it starts to get really, really expensive. And then he also asked me about bidding this type of job. You know, bidding this job, I would absolutely do it by the box. And I would include transport, I would include um, the, you know, unpacking it, deodorizing it, putting it back into the clean box to take it back. Then I would charge separately, just like we do an Xactimate when we're packing contents, we charge separately for the boxes, the clean boxes, because you would want to repack it then in an uncontaminated box. So you would have both of those charges. Now, I also recommended that John take one box and do this process with it to test and see how well it came out. Again, these have been sitting for a minute, I think just over two weeks, he said. So I was a little bit concerned about it sitting that long. And if these papers are that important, which they are to this, this company, then you may be facing needing to make photocopies of literally each and every page, which can get spendy. But again, if they have business insurance coverage, their adjuster shouldn't have a problem paying for what it takes to restore those documents to their pre-loss condition. Okay, well, John, I wish you best of luck, and I do expect a text message from you letting me know how things turn out with this job, and I know we're gonna converse and walk a little bit through it more uh, together. 
and I hope this helped you. If you guys have any stories about doing documents that have been in a fire, I would love to hear about that. Uh, so please be sure and send me an email or maybe comment below the video. Be sure you are subscribed to my YouTube channel. And if you are not already, you should hop on over to rnrmagonline.com and subscribe to their website, their uh, digital magazine, as well as their e-newsletter so that you get this video and all kinds of other goodies in your email inbox every Friday. And on that note, I'm going to leave you and I'm going to go out on the lake and have some fun on this sunny day. And I hope you all have a fantastic rest of your week and a wonderful weekend. And I will see you on next week's Ask Anissa video column.